Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. Let's start with today's uh, TA because Bitcoin is still stuck here in this $9,500 area. Here in the one hour time frame you can see that we are still trading around the 50 level in the RSI and also stochastic is now neutral territory. So we are once more trading here sideways and we're waiting here for a decisive breakout below the support or again above the new resistance that we have currently at around $9,600. I am right now not in a trade because also if you watched my yesterday's live stream over on Twitch, I told you there that I will be waiting for this weekend because I think on the weekend we're gonna have a big pump or dump because the stocks are now not trading. So the stocks on the weekend are not trading but the crypto space is always trading 24-7. And that's why I think if we're going to have here a big move during the weekend, we could have and create also a new future gap. So here on the CMEs, we would have a new future gap and that I most likely going to trade depending on this future gap that most likely is going to get created if we are getting here a big pump or dump. So the CME is closed yesterday on $9,500. So keep that level in mind during the weekend. If we're gonna have a big pump, I'm most likely gonna start to short because I still think we could see here some further downside movements. And at the other hand, if we're gonna see a big dump during the weekend and the stock market is starting to recover on Monday, I think then we have the perfect long entry. But currently it looks like that we're gonna trade sideways here. So let's wait here for a possible big move. And I think it is very likely that we will go again towards 9,600, even up to 9,800 to retest those levels. And there maybe we could start to look for a short entry just to write it down to close the CME gap on uh, Monday. So we can go over to the Bollinger Band also in the one hour time frame because also here currently we are trading in the upper area of the Bollinger Band. So also here I think it is very likely that we could go up here to test the $9,500 area. Possible also higher towards $9,600. MACD is flat here. And if we go over to the four hour time frame, also here you can see that the 20 moving average is coming down here at 9,520. So it is very likely that we go up here at least to test the 20 moving average in the four hour and possibly have also a week here towards a new resistance at $9,600. RSI is here also below the 50 level. So we are trading here in the lower part. So that means that we are shifted to the downside. And I think we're gonna stay here between the 20 moving average in four hour and the main support here at 9,300 till we're gonna see here a breakout to the upside or to the downside. Stochastic is in neutral territory, but what is more important here is that we're trading below the 20 moving average and below the 50 in the RSI. So that is what is concerning me right now here for the lower time frames. And also watching here at the Bollinger Band, you can see that we're clearly trading here in the lower part. So we could push it towards 9,560, but if we get rejected here, the momentum could be again shifted to the downside and we could fall in theory down to $9,150. The only thing that could maybe save us or push us higher than that is that we're gonna have here a bullish cross in the MACD. So that maybe could fire up here the bulls and we could even go up towards 9,980 in theory here based on the Bollinger Band. I don't think that we maybe gonna reach this area up there, but it is possible based here on the Bollinger Band in the four hour. So let's see if we're gonna have a, like a crazy move like that towards the $10,000 area. This could change a lot, but also we could have just a monster week to the upside and then revert immediately back down. Everything is possible and that's why you must be prepared for all scenarios, especially if you trade with a leverage here over on uh, Bybit. And if we go over to the daily time frame. Here it looks a little bit more bearish because yesterday we couldn't manage to close again above the 20 daily moving average and currently we are getting rejected from it and we're trading again below the 20 daily. RSI could start to trade below the 50 level. Stochastic is coming down to oversold so that is a good sign. Let's hope that we're gonna create something like here in the past when we last time tested here the support we closed a couple of days below the 20 daily and then immediately recovered back up. I think we could see something similar here um, especially because we are on the weekend right now and that's why I'm telling you if we are seeing here a big dump uh, 
possibly it is a perfect condition here to start to enter your longs and rebuy back in because in that case we would not only have a future gap up to this level but also it is very likely that we would have a strong recovery here also the stochastic is oversold and the RSI is right at the 50 so also here in theory we should see a big bounce here to the upside and if we go over to the Bollinger Band here it looks a bit different because in theory here we are trading now in the lower part so in theory we should have this big resistance here at 9550 and we could easily drop down here towards 8900 and you can be sure that if we drop down to this level during this weekend down to 8900 I gonna open my long position a big long position because it is almost guaranteed that then we're gonna have a big bounce here towards 9500 where the CME closed maybe not the immediately but at least in the next couple of days we would close it for sure and the MACD is now shifted to the downside so also here it is looking like that we could see some further downside movements for the next couple of days and if we open up also the weekly time frame here you can see that currently we are still far away from the 20 weekly moving average which is at 8500 Bitcoin likes very much to go down to test this moving average. So let's see if we can test it during the weekend or in the next couple of days, especially if also the S&P is getting a hit. I think that also here in Bitcoin, we could see a test of this 20 weekly moving average and potentially also go lower. The stochastic here is still overbought. So it is possible that we first have to cool off here the stochastic a bit before we can really start to take off again. RSI is right above the 50. So let's hope that we will not bring the RSI again below the 50 level that could indicate a major bigger sell-off but currently we are still above the 50 and that is good like this and if we go over to the Bollinger Band here we are still trading in the upper area so in theory here everything is good so if we can close this weekly candle above $8,800 we should be safe and also the MACD still shifted to the upside so here it is still looking really bullish in my opinion even though it could be that we will go down to retest this 8k or lower area so and finally we can also have a look on the S&P 500 here the futures because currently also here you can see that we came down to test the 20 weekly moving average and uh, yesterday we had a little bounce here to the upside a little breather but also here you can see that we didn't close above the 20 daily moving average but at least we closed above the 200 daily moving average the RSI is right at the 50 stochastic is coming down to oversold territory so at the moment it doesn't look too bad but if we start here also in the S&P to trade below the 200 daily moving average and bring also the RSI here below the 50 then I think it's guaranteed that we will see here a major sell-off and potentially also in the crypto space a bigger dump so be ready for all scenarios if we are starting to trade here below the 200 daily moving average because we could see for the next couple of weeks most likely some big sell-offs here and my targets here are at around 3000 to 2800 dollar here on the s p 500 and i think this could also take bitcoin towards my target of 8000 to 6500 dollar this is where i'm planning to open my big long position and also to start dca back in into bitcoin what i took out here in this area here between 9600 and 9800 dollar and remember guys that currently we have a hundred dollar extra bonus over on bybit so if you need an account over on bybit where you can trade with the leverage bitcoin and other assets up to 100x you can use my invitation code that you find down below here in the video description because not only you get the normal rewards here of 90 dollar bonus but also if you put a 0.2 bitcoin deposit until the 20th of june you will get an additional hundred dollar bonus so make sure to claim this bonus if you want to start trading and if you want to test also other exchanges i have some other links where you can get some bonuses if you use my sign up links down below here for femex primex pt and bityard on bityard i do the more high leveraged trades because there you also get a lot of bonuses and rewards if you use high volume and also make sure to join our free discord trading chat the chat is completely for free and everyone is welcome and i'm doing the live streams over on twitch so make sure also to join the live streams here 
here you find also the link to my channel in the video description and if someone needs a bank account where you can immediately sell or buy bitcoins with fiat down below you find the link for bitwalla that's a crypto bank where you have a normal fiat wallet and also a bitcoin wallet so you can easily convert between fiat crypto and also you will get a free debit card so you can use the money immediately to buy stuff and if you use my sign up link down below here for bitwalla you will get immediately 15 euro on your wallet for free which also you can put immediately into bitcoin for example so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content you know what to do make also sure to subscribe to the channel because we do daily ta videos and also you can participate to the bitcoin giveaway that i do with every 500 subscribers so thank you very much for watching guys and we see us all in the next one bye